Okay. So we have this Z, which is uh, many people are coming in. Oh, come on. Yaar. Achha. So Z is under root two minus under root six iota. It's, com uh, it's conjugate Z star is written here. It says find the modulus and argument of Z. Let's do that quickly. Yeah, people, why don't you come in together? Okay, now the modulus of Z is quickly, that is going to be the square root of uh, this two plus six, okay? So that is under root eight. So this is going to be, uh, okay, yes. So I can write this as two under root two, that is its modulus. And then the argument. Now remember, whenever you have to go for the argument, it's better you have it sketch in front of you, okay? So that you know that in which quadrant this is going to fall. So if I have it like this, this is under root two, this is under root four, this is under root six here. And I have this under root two, under root two, under root, this is under root six. Okay, so this is your this is your point here. This is under root two minus under root six. Okay, so you see that its argument would be something like this is the argument. So, its modulus under root fourteen will not be. You have not square it. They have taken two square or plus six square. Uh, who is this genius talking? Let me know its so, name. Are you conjugate or not? Who is this? Under root two or under root six, sir. Who is this great? Oh, Alaiba. Alaiba, bete. What is the square root of uh, what is the square of uh, under root two? Yes, Alaiba. What is the square of oh, under root fourteen? Uh, what is the square of? What is the square of under root two and then plus the square of under root six? So what do you get? Oh, like? Okay, this happens. This happens with me as well when I'm, you know, telling you guys, okay, this is two under root two. Okay, anyhow, now this argument of Z is going to be tan inverse of this minus under root six over under root two. You see, this is one of those typical numbers here. This, we are left with under root three over here, okay? So this is going to be tan inverse of minus under root three. So I think that is going to be 60 degrees. Yes, this, this looks like 60 degrees here, okay? So its argument is going to be minus pi by three. This is minus pi by three. Or if you want to write then in degrees, you can write this is minus 60 degrees. So that is the modulus and the argument. So each one of them has one mark, okay? Next it says express them, uh, the, the given numbers here, it says Z plus two Z star. So this Z plus two Z star is gonna be under root two and then minus under root six iota, then plus two under root two plus two under root six iota. So when you sum this up, you have three under root two, yes, and plus under root six iota. That is your, um, um, that um, Z plus two Z star, okay? Then it says Z star over iota Z. Now, if this is your Z, what would be iota Z? Can you tell me quickly what would be iota Z? Yes? Under root two iota plus under root six. Yeah, if you multiply this with iota, so this would be under root two iota and then minus under root six iota squared. So this would make it under root six and then plus under root two iota, that is your iota Z. So we can do that quickly. This is gonna be under root two plus under root six iota over uh, this is under root six and plus under root two iota. So you have to rationalize it. This is under root two, oh, sorry, under root six minus under root two iota over under root six minus under root two iota, okay? So this is under root 12 minus under root four iota plus under root 36 iota minus under root 12 iota square. 
Okay, and whole over we have six plus two. Okay, so when we simplify this, we have uh, now this would become plus under root 12, yes, because iota square is minus one, yes. So this is two under root 12, and I have here this is two and this is six. So six minus two is four. So let me write it as please keep an eye on my working here. Okay, and this is over eight and this is over eight. So finally, this is going to be uh, under root 12 is two under root three. Yes, under root 12 is two under root three. Okay, Gee, sir. so then we have, um, um, okay, so this uh, two under root three and uh, th there is already two over here four. So this means it is, it is going to be under root three over two. Yes, this is under root three over two. And this is going to be plus half iota, plus half iota. That is your, um, this, this simplified Z star over iota Z. Do you have any questions so far? Hmm? Yes, Bacho? Any no, questions? Sir. Okay. So now it says, I wonder where would I find the place to do the next part? It says, on a sketch of an argon diagram with an origin, with or oh, oh, show the point A and B. Okay, show the point um, A and B representing the complex number Z star and iota Z. Okay, so that means I can erase all of this. I don't need this, okay? So let me erase all of this here so that we can use this place for this last part. Okay, now please, you have to be very alert, okay? Because uh, now you must be able to do this. Uh, so this is my vertical axis, the iota axis. This is my real axis, okay? So I would note it down this. You must mention this as this is the real axis, okay? And this one is the iota axis. And here is the O, the origin. Okay, we have to show the two numbers. One is the Z star and the other is iota Z. Now, Z star and iota Z. I have to see that how do, how do I have to scale the things here, okay? Now, iota Z, it is here. So the things are in terms of under root two, okay? So, um, yes. Um, I have written a very wrong thing over here. This is under root two, under root four, and this this was this is really very wrong here. Okay, this can be under root two. The next one can be two under root two, and then the, this can be three under root two. So this was a wrong scaling here. Anyone seeing this video can like you know uh, challenge me on to this. Okay, so now um, then um, over here I have to show iota z where it is, uh, yeah, Z star. Now Z star is, where is my Z star? Let me see where, yeah, it, it is here, under root two plus under root six. Can someone uh, quickly tell me what is the approximate value of under root two and this under root six? Quickly. So 1.4 is under root two and 2.45 is under root six. So this is 1.24? 1.4. 4, okay. And uh, under root 6 is? 2.45. 2.4, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So um, if I erase this, everything will go. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So let me write here. I'm just going to write one, two, three, and this is one, this is two, this is three. So somewhere here I have under root two, okay? This is under root two. And somewhere here I have under root six. Similarly, I have here under root two. And so guys, you please see this. You have to follow this, okay? So under root two, this is my Z star. I'm going to show this as the point A over here. So this is under root two and here it is under root six. So this is my point A, here it is my point O and B has to be the iota Z. 
Now, this is the iota z that is under root six plus under root two iota. So this is under root six and then plus under root two iota. Here it is your b. Okay. So now we have to prove that the angle AOB, where is that? Where is, uh, yeah, it is here. We have to prove that angle AOB is equal to pi by six. Okay. If I draw this, if I join it, if I join it like this. Now, guys, there are many, many ways of showing this. There are many, many ways of showing this. Can you quickly tell me what is the argument of this point A over here? How, what is this angle over here? Wouldn't this be tan inverse of under root six over under root two? Yes. And we know that this is going to be 60 degrees. Yes, Vachyo? Yes. Indeed. This angle is 60, Hannah. And look at this angle. You can tell me what is this angle. That is going to be tan inverse of, that is going to be tan inverse of under root two over under root six. And you know, that is going to be 30 degrees. So what is 60 minus 30? Hmm? No, what is 60 30. minus 30? That is going to be 30 or pi by six. Pi by six means 30 degrees. Now, is that clear to you? Hmm? Yes? Gee, sir, thank okay, you. Okay, now let me tell you a very, very difficult and a Sarawa method of finding this angle. Now, some uh, students, sir? yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Could we do it using dot product as well? Uh, dot product. Please don't do that because uh, you can do that. You can do that. Um, I think, yeah, you can do that. I was just going to show you a method that some of the students use that because you know that you can apply all the rules of coordinate geometry over here, okay? So when you have this uh, point A, you have the point B, you can have the length OA, you can have the length OB, and you have the length AB, and you know the people go for the cosine rule over here, and they do show, but, but this really takes a lot of time, okay? Anyhow, uh, dot product is perfectly all right. I was just like, you know, confused because this is going to be a uh, 2D shape over here, but nevertheless, you can use the, the, the 2D vectors as well for to show this. Yes, you can do that, okay? So we shall move now to the next question. I'm going to stop this recording.